Hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I thought some of you might be interested in learning how I create my tattoo stencils. In this video, I'll show you the three methods I mostly use to design my stencils, all of which I do digitally. The first two methods I'm going to show you are done using an iPad with the Procreate app. The third and final method, which I use the most, is done on a desktop using a free app called GIMP. It's a great alternative to Photoshop, and I'll provide a link below if you're interested in downloading it. Now, let's dive into the first method. For this method, you'll need an image that you'd like to turn into a stencil. Make sure the image has a white background. First, duplicate the image two times, so you have three layers. On the top layer, change the blending mode from normal, to divide. Next, go to adjustments and increase the Gaussian blur to about 4 to 7%. After that, merge the top layer with the second one. Go back to adjustments, select curves, and tweak them until you get your desired result. And that's it. Your stencil is ready. The second method is more of a manual approach hand tracing. Here's how to do it. First, lower the opacity of the image to around 80%. This way, you can still see the original image while drawing over it. Create a new layer for tracing. Use a liner marker with the size of a pencil to trace the edges of the design. Zoom in to make sure you catch all the details, starting with the outer lines and moving to the inner details. When tracing shadows, I like to leave small gaps in the lines, so when I'm tattooing, I know these areas don't need to be filled in completely black. This method is my go-to when I'm working on face portraits because the stencil comes out super clean, and I can clearly see where each shadow starts and ends. Now, for the third method this one's done on the desktop using GIMP, which is free to use. Open your image in GIMP. First, go to Filters, select Enhance, then choose Sharpen. Increase the radius and amount just a little to sharpen the image. Next, go back to Filters, click on Artistic, and select Photocopy. Set the sharpness to maximum, adjust the mask radius to around 20, set percentage black to zero, and tweak the percentage white to somewhere between 0.6 and 0.85. You can play with the mask radius again to get the best result for your stencil. And that's it. You're all set with a stencil ready to go. So those are the three main methods I use to create tattoo stencils. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tattoo-related content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.